Hi, Will Carver here, author of the January David series, the Detective Pace novels and many standalones, including Upstairs at the Beresford. I'm here today to thank all of the wonderful library staff who worked so hard to get our stories into readers' hands. I think every thriving community has the library as its central hub and I see it as an important partnership for sharing information or imagination or even escape. Whether that's giving a reading or an author talk, whether you want a physical book or you use BorrowBox for your audio content and eBooks, it's the library that keeps us all connected and more importantly, engaged in stories. Hi there, my name's Sam Blake and I'm absolutely thrilled that my books are going to be available on the BorrowBox app alongside ebooks, magazines and all sorts of things um, and that people can access audiobooks anywhere, on the move, wherever, via the app. It's a fantastic addition to the library service. I absolutely love libraries, they are the hub of our community, especially when readers can borrow titles via the BorrowBox app which enables so much of a wider engagement for readers. Hi, I'm Peter James, author of the Roy Grace series, and I just want to tell you how amazing I think the Borrow Box app is for library users. It gives you everything ebooks, magazines, newspapers, and you can really connect with authors and their stories. Hi, I'm Vicky Beebe. I write World War II saga fiction. It means a great deal to have my books available on Borrow Box as it's an important way for library users to enjoy reading, listening and connecting with authors and their stories. As an author, I want as many people as possible to have access to my books, whatever their preferred format. Readers keep the story going, so having titles available digitally via the BorrowBox app enables much wider engagement across all types of readers. Hey people, I'm Amanda Scott, author of the Boudicca Dreaming series and A Treachery of Spies, and most recently, Any Human Power. Readers keep our stories alive, and we need to be able to reach them wherever they are in our increasingly digitized world. So using the BorrowBox app to give people access in one place to eBooks and e-audiobooks and newspapers and magazines means that anyone, anytime, any place, anywhere can become part of our stories. Hi, my name's Graham McRae Barnett. Uh, I'm the author of His Bloody Project and Case Study and forthcoming uh, A Case of Matricide. I'm a huge fan and supporter of public libraries. In fact, I actually write all my books in my own local library. And I just want to give a sh shout out to the fantastic BorrowBox service where library users can access audiobooks and eBooks and newspapers and magazines. And as an author, it's fantastic that these different avenues exist to discover our work. So please do give BorrowBox a go. Hello library people, my name's Emma Carroll. I am the author of Letters from a Lighthouse and more recently, The Tale of Truthwater Lake. Um, now, I'm a massive fan of libraries. I do a lot of work with library services around the country so I can see firsthand the impact that your work has on the lives of young readers. So thank you very much from me. And a huge thank you to all the librarians who've recommended my books. All this wouldn't be possible without libraries. So I'd like to give a huge thank you to libraries and their staff for all their hard work and for sharing their love of great stories. Um, I want to say also just how much I owe to libraries. I think the library institution in England is quite remarkable. I'm not sure I would ever have been a published author if it hadn't been for librarians helping me in my childhood. So total thumbs up to libraries and a great initiative. Thank you so much to all the librarian staff and volunteers who make libraries happen. I spent a lot of my childhood in libraries, so I always knew that they, and the totally heroic librarians who keep them running against increasing odds, are an absolutely essential part of everything that we do as a culture. Now, as an author, I know that you are the lifeblood that keeps us going, the way we reach listeners and readers who would otherwise have no chance to explore the new ideas that we're trying to bring to the world. So thank you. Thank you for being there. Thank you for all that you do. And thank you for giving me the escape routes that I needed when I was a kid. I am endlessly grateful.